A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. 15 months ago, during a recap episode of the Drama Queens podcast, guest Michaela McManus posed a thought-provoking question to co-hosts Bethany Joy Lenz and Sophia Bush. Would they ever consider writing a book? Lenz, known for her role on One Tree Hill, responded with a revelation that would leave listeners in shock. She disclosed, I was in a cult for 10 years. This candid admission set the stage for an extraordinary journey that would lead to the release of her upcoming memoir, Dinner for Vampires. Life on a cult TV show, while also in an actual cult, duh. Now, as we sit outside a boutique hotel in Wilmington, North Carolina, the very city where One Tree Hill was filmed, Lenz reflects on her tumultuous past with a sense of empowerment and clarity. Lenz's experience in the cult, known as the Big House Family, began as a seemingly innocent Bible study in Los Angeles. However, it transformed into a commune-style environment in Idaho under a new leader, whom she refers to as Les in her book. Lenz's life became a balancing act as she juggled her acting career and the demands of the cult, often turning down acting opportunities at the group's insistence. In a pivotal moment during our conversation, Lenz reveals, I wish I'd really been able to enjoy this in the early 2000s before cell phones when everybody just ran into each other on the street. Her reflections on the camaraderie among her One Tree Hill castmates reveal the depth of their concern for her well-being during her time in the cult. She recalls receiving written statements from her co-stars, including Paul Johansson and Daphne Zuniga, to support her in a custody battle following her divorce. They sensed I was being taken advantage of and might even be in danger. Lens notes, highlighting the genuine care her friends had for her. The emotional weight of her journey is palpable as she discusses her relationship with her ex-husband, musician Michael Gagliotti, and the challenges of co-parenting their daughter, Rosie. Lens's writing process was not without its struggles. The hardest part was when I started to get into after 2005. After I got married, really? That chunk was really hard to write, she admits. Balancing authenticity with respect for her daughter's relationship with her father proved to be a delicate task. Yet, Lenz approached it with honesty, acknowledging the complexity of her experiences while striving to honor her family's dynamics. The title of her memoir, Dinner for Vampires, emerged as a striking metaphor for her journey. I was a little nervous about it because it's very provocative, she admits, but it resonated with her agent, and they decided to embrace the boldness of the title. The cover design also became a crucial aspect of conveying the book's tone. I wanted people to see the cover and immediately know this was a story told with humor and self-deprecation, she explains. Lenz's narrative is not merely a recounting of her time in a cult. It is a story of resilience, humor, and ultimately, hope. Through her writing, she aims to connect with readers on a deeper level, sharing the relatable theme of accepting one's flaws and mistakes. You can't laugh at your mistakes unless you've accepted them, she reflects, emphasizing the importance of embracing the flawed versions of ourselves. As we delve into her faith and spiritual journey, Lens reveals a profound transformation. What I realized was that I had been approaching my faith with a sense of duty, she shares. This shift towards a more open and forgiving relationship with her spirituality has brought her a sense of freedom and acceptance. It's so much easier to make mistakes. I don't beat myself up as much anymore, she admits. Lenz's journey has not only been about overcoming the challenges of her past, but also about rediscovering her identity and finding joy in the present. As she prepares to release her memoir, Lenz reflects on the lessons learned and the strength gained through adversity. I learned so much in the process, she concludes, embodying the spirit of resilience that defines her story. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.